Hey guys, this is LK. Before I start the video, I just want to let you guys know that I got this when I won the Smash Tournament in July. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. So let me know what you think. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. If you like the video, just give it a big thumbs up and then subscribe if you haven't already. And then click the notification bell so you get notified when my videos come out. And thank you for watching and we'll just get straight into the video. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go, man. Here we go. This is Splatsville, in the heart of the Splatlands. Despite its old-fashioned appearance, it's seen enormous growth in recent years. It's also the hottest new place for inklings looking for things to do. Oh, hello everyone. Hope you're all staying fresh. I almost forgot about introductions. We're the researchers from the Squid Research Lab. We're simply fascinated by what these inklings can do. They can splat ink in kit form and smoothly swim through it in swim form. We've been studying their biology day and night. Today, we'd like to share some new findings on these inklings while providing summaries throughout. Of course, what goes for the inklings also applies to the octolings. We're sure of it. First, turf war. Get styling with some fresh fashion and get inking with even fresher weapons. Naturally, in a place called Splatsville, turf war battles are the locals' favorite pastime. Two teams of four will ink for three minutes. The team that inks the most in their color, in other words, claims the most turf, wins. Now, that's not all yeah. inking is for. Ink walls to swim up. Or get sneaky and hide yeah, in ink to splat that opponents. Of the more ink you spread, the bigger yeah, like the advantage you'll have in battles. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. If you're out of ink, submerge in it to refill. New techniques like the squid surge to swim up walls in a single burst. Good and through. the squid roll to jump out of ink while simultaneously turning around have also oh, been they don't have this too, right? Squid roll? They didn't even have yeah, it. Oh, while it's yeah. glowing like this, the move also slightly repels ink That's from opponents. New. The squid roll is really new. Wow. We've discovered stages. where these turf war stages. battles will take it, place. So we'll see, see what the stages, stages look like. Stages confirmed for the Splatlands include... The splat, the splatlands. Scorch Gorge. Oh. Eel Tail Scorch Alley. Scorch Gorge. Yeah. 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 Mince Meat Metalworks. This game is fun. Yeah. And yeah. Undertow Spillway. Yeah. Yeah. Like there seem to be other stages as well. There seem to be other stages as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Haggle Fish Market. A pier filled to the bream with street vendors. The stuff here looks fishy, though. Several stages from Greater Inkopolis also return. Museum D'Alfonsino. Battles here take place in the central courtyard of this modern museum. Take special note of the rotating wall. Hammerhead Bridge. This bridge connects Greater Inkopolis to the Splatlands. After lots of construction work, it's finally open. Thanks to the bridge, transit to and from Greater Inkopolis is much easier. Mahi Mahi Resort. A luxury resort in Greater Inkopolis. Pay close attention to the platforms that sink as the battle goes on. There will be more areas to ink afterward, so don't forget to splash. 
Lancashire. Including the he stages did. you see here, a total of 12 await. <laughs> More stages will be added in free oh, post launch updates. updates More stages. Yeah. Huh. Now, let's get into the oh, empty the bow. essence of battles. This oh, the bow. bow. Let's go. Yeah, this is a new weapon. First, the it appears that, that ass, all right. the basic weapons from previous games will be available. This game has different On weapons. top of that, Splatland specific yeah. weapon types, <laughs> such as the oh, bow-like stringers, the stringers yeah. will make their destructive yeah. debut. That weapon looks sick. We've also verified Damn. a new weapon type oh, called weapon? Splatana. Splatana? This is the Splatana Wiper. Splatana. Send blades of ink flying with the centrifugal cool. force generated by swinging. Swing after charging up a bit, and it'll transform wow. into a charged slash. As expected, it's powerful as a long-range attack. But the charged slash at close range is also quite devastating. It's kind of like a sword a little bit. Let's yeah. dive into the weapons that can help you claim even Special more weapons. turns. I like the Special bow. weapons. Yeah. As the oh, yeah, these, are, the plots, special these are special kinds of weapons that can be unleashed after Especially filling the up the gauge like. from inking turf. <laughs> there are some new types we've identified. So let's, we've so let's take a closer look. This is the Tacticooler. When it's activated, a fridge appears. You'll find in-game beverages stored inside. These have a variety of effects, like momentarily increasing speed. They come in packs of four, so take one and share the rest with your teammates. This is the Wave Breaker. When activated, it'll breaker. unleash waves around the area. Oh, that's like a special weapon. It'll also mark weapon. an opponent's location so and cause yeah, damage. Try to avoid them with a well-timed like, jump. More than one. Finally, yeah, the one, Reef Slider. What? Build up power, then charge into what opponents who need a good splat. Oh, it's called the Reef Slider. Once the attack it ends, like it'll explode called... and yeah, damage slider. the surrounding area. Yeah, like familiar shark, special know. weapons, like the Tenta Missiles, <laughs> Ink Jet, oh. Ink Storm, they have that. Yeah, Ultra Stance, and Booyah Bomb will though. also make their grand return. Do they have the same specials, Special yeah, weapons are paired with that, main uh, weapons. Too, but so find yeah, the combo that suits your order. splatting style. Yeah, I think so. I remember. <laughs> the splat dually is definitely cool. I Shop use here to get your tentacles on some fresh weapons. Fresh weapons. I like this the new special is weapons, Ammo Knight, like owned by the chatty horseshoe like crab, the, the Sheldon. Really <laughs> the locals have praised him yeah. for his wealth of weapon like bow, wisdom and sophisticated selection. Yeah. Instead of using in-game currency for purchases, you'll need these Sheldon licenses. Obtain them by leveling up through battles and by consistently using the same month, weapons. Wow. One Sheldon license can be exchanged for one weapon that corresponds to your level. Oh, and just between us, if you exchange more Sheldon licenses than normal, it appears he'll give you a weapon you like sooner than expected as a special reward. Or you could level it up. By the way, the Inklings and so. Octolings walking around town are pretty savvy about their fashion. Things like headgear, clothing, and shoes are just as important as weapons to staying fresh in Splatsville. Gear can be obtained in the shops around here. Each one is managed by an interesting shopkeeper. So let's drop in. This is not Couture, a headgear shop. You'll find an array of hats, masks, and glasses so you can get ahead of the game. Oh yeah, the laid back Nautilus, gnarly and the energetic nails. The snail sitting here, run the shop. This is the clothes boutique, from Mana Wardrobe. It specializes in tops, like t-shirts and jackets. 
the shopkeeper, Jell Lafleur, might be a touch archaic with words, but this jellyfish has a keen eye for fashion sense. And finally, the shoe store crush station. Get a variety of cool kicks here, from sneakers to sandals and even leather footwear. It's owned by Mr. Coco. He might look intimidating, but deep down, he's a nice guy. Probably. You're more than welcome to pick out gear based on its appearance, but they do come with abilities that can help you out in battle. Yeah, this game looks fun. Yeah. Take Run Speed Up, for example. It can increase your running speed or intensify action. This improves the squid roll and squid surge moves. There are even more abilities to discover. That's cool. <laughs> Plus, there's a fellow in Splatsville who can swap one ability with another. Talk to Merch here, and you can add an ability of your choosing to your favorite gear. And if you save your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits, you can change in a flash. Flavor up your fashion with whatever outfits you want. Simply Splat-tastic. Yeah. Welcome to the lobby, a gathering spot for those seeking fresh battles. <laughs> Turf war battles I wonder what the storm looks like oh, in here. That's a turf war you can battle. also square off in anarchy battles where you compete for rankings. Hold the active zones in split zones. Yeah. Ride the tower to the goal in tower control. Carry the rainmaker to its destination in rainmaker. Oh, Splatoon 2 also has rain. Collect and throw clams to yeah, score do. in clam blitz. Duke oh yeah, they also have these that as well. Four modes, clam blitz. Which are on rotation. Want to take on a challenge solo? Anarchy Select battle Anarchy Battle name, series. But, but if you want to team up with friends, joining Anarchy Battle Open is the way to go. You can also play private battles huh. online. Oh, private battles. Set yeah. battle modes and other options. Yes, Splatoon like 2 has that as well. Why not play with your favorite that, battle modes yeah, alongside battle friends? Though. Information about these game modes will be available soon on the game's official website. <laughs> <laughs> I did. It's coming out next month as well. So. Now, let's talk about the features. Because I just can't wait to play this game, you know? <laughs> this is the test range. The Try out and get comfy with your weapons here. Besides being able to practice whenever you want, it's also a great place to get all warmed up while waiting for rivals to join a battle. Next up, Ghosts. Of, that part almost reminds me of Smash when you like wait for a battle and then you do it. Uh, the match Drop in on friends in the midst of battle. Yeah, that, 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 and that, 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 play that, 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 alongside them. Yeah, that almost reminds me of Smash. You can also <laughs> join up and start a battle on the same team. Made it where you just practice on the thing. So, You'll be able to see uh, what your friends are up to. Yeah. It that, appears that, that you can also like call out to friends in the lobby and invite right. them for battle. That weapon looks pretty <laughs> Why good not too. see these the features for yourself? That one looks good and the bow looks pretty good. Yeah. This is where you can view battle replays. Oh, you can do replays. It appears that it can somewhat recreate You can do replays on here. Yeah. Yeah. They, they made it different. So kind of like Smash. Fast forward. Or skip to a certain part. Or even swap to another player's view. Well, that's new. They're Incredible! Not only can you rewatch battles you as many times well? as you'd like, no, I guess you can. but there's <laughs> even a share feature. I don't think they have we hope you'll use this handy replays. tool to help you rank up. Like edit them on replays like Smash does? Like save the replays, yeah. Like Next, yeah. we'll analyze and discuss this space within the lobby. The locker room. Here, you'll find some fresh lockers. One is yours, and the others belong to players with whom you've recently so played. Too. As you can huh. see, you'll be able to place any acquired weapons, gear, and items to your liking. Slap on some snazzy stickers, and modify your locker's color. 
This is your space to express yourself. So customize it however you'd like to show off your signature splatting style. Oh, yes. Items can be obtained at Hotlantis, a general store on the edge of Splatsville. Apparently, the store manager vanishes quite often. So instead, it's run by an artist named Harmony. She used to be a regular customer here. It's got an outlandish assortment of items. Why not show the store some love by grabbing some goods? There appear to be plenty of other customization features as well. When battles start, these splash tags appear. They can be customized with a banner, badge, and title. Oh, you could customize that. Additionally, oh. you can change the emote your character performs when you win a battle. Oh. All of these can be obtained via the in-game catalog, which will be available at Hotlantis. By using points earned from battles, you can unlock various oh, items, so like stuff for splash tags and there. seasonal That's gear. <laughs> Following the game's launch, a new catalog is planned to be released every three months for two years. Be sure to snatch up everything you see in each catalog. Two years, I'll be on 2024. Introducing Table Turf Battle! Lay out your cards for a dazzling deck duo! Oh, it's kind of like Tetris. Ink different shapes with different cards. Charge up power, then unleash it all at once with a special attack. There are cards like this, and even ones like this, and there are over 150 cards to collect in-game. So build your deck and send your rivals packing! The Splatsville locals eagerly await your challenge. Table Turf Battle! Every player will be gifted an in-game starter deck! <clears throat> Excuse me, I lost my clampoosier for a second there. I played this before. Do. Salmon Run is a simple job that requires four players to work together to collect power eggs from the salmonids advancing on them. This part-time gig is rumored to be a little fishy, but it pays pretty well. By defeating particularly ferocious creatures called that. boss salmonids, you can obtain valuable golden eggs. You'll need to collect and deliver plenty of golden eggs in order to complete this job. This time around, we've confirmed some new types of boss salmonids, so let's share our findings. First up, the Slammon Lid. It creates barriers and protects salmonids on the ground. Get too close to it and it'll attempt to crush you, so approach with caution. Next, the Big Shot. It fires heavy projectiles from a distance. Be prepared for powerful shockwaves when they land. <laughs> With new boss salmonids confirmed, make sure you're Almost ready for an even quick. more dangerous salmon run. One of the new King Salmonids! Unbelievable! It looks like they'll occasionally appear just before you complete the job. The tank on your back is a specially provided egg cannon. And it appears that you can fire golden eggs to deal massive damage. However, these battles are under a time limit. So rack up as much damage as possible to drive them back. And this, this is the still being researched big run. We believe this is when salmonids invade the city in which Icklings and Octolings live. It appears that this event happens once every few months, so brace yourselves! Big run is coming!
Now, observe well, this man. Talking about story mode. Talking about story mode yeah. This is actually the entrance yeah, to the, the home of the Octarians, Inkling's longtime enemies. As Agent 3, the newest recruit of the new Squid Beaks platoon, you'll do battle with the Octarian army, whose members are covered in hair for some reason. Along with your buddy Small Fry, you'll explore many stages, each one full of twists and turns. Oh, I almost forgot. Story mode is perfect for getting familiar with inking turf and using weapons. Some newer players might want to try it out. Well, we've come this far. What awaits the Inklings and Octolings in the end? We hope you can witness the epic finale of this splatastic saga. We're back in Splatsville. From here on out, we'd like to talk about other features that'll help you enjoy your splatting escapades even more in the Splatoon 3 game. All right. You can post illustrations here via this mailbox. They'll be displayed all across the city and even in stages. So put on your artist cap and post away. Vertical illustrations will also be supported. Additionally, you can grab food and drinks that'll help you in battles at the concession stand. Or use local communication to play with nearby folks in your favorite modes at the shoal. By using photo mode, you can snap selfies, send photos to a smart device, or display them in your locker. That, may be, that might be a very good thumbnail for This is the TV Recon video. Guide. <laughs> Select your favorite stages at any time and take a stroll around them. Why not get familiar with each stage prior to battles? This is Splatnet 3. You can use this with your smart device. Depending on the areas you inked during battles. Or view history to take a trip down memory lane with oh. your past ranks. You can also snag special wallpapers and more for your smart device. So be sure to grab them. It appears that Splatnet 3 will be available at launch via the Nintendo Switch Online mobile app. Next up, Amiibo figures. Scan Splatoon series Amiibo. I figure that. I figure about that. And voila! Saving your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits will allow you to easily swap outfits. I got my Amiibo from the Additionally, time Additionally, it seems you'll be able to get special gear and even snap photos together with yeah. Amiibo. And Splatoon 3 Amiibo incoming! Incoming. Release is scheduled for this holiday. Nice. Those amoebas look sick. Battle. Available after attaining an extremely high rank in Anarchy Battle and League Battle, where every two hours you can compete in teams based on your Anarchy Battle results, are planned to be added in future updates. Furthermore, for this game, we're so planning to add large-scale paid DLC. More yeah, even though I got one and didn't on so that please be on the lookout. One. <laughs> and now, I'd like to wrap up this research report from the Squid Research Lab. Thank you for watching. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Who are you supposed to be? We're not supposed to be anything. <laughs> but I tell you who we are. Say it with Eagle. I'm for you. I completely forgot to tell you about Deep Cut. They're an incredibly popular trio who hosts the Splatsville news program, Anarchy Splatcast. 
They provide information on battle stages, as well as other news bulletins. While we're on the subject, the youngsters of Splatsville own sea cucumber phones. They can check the news while doing other activities, as shown here. And... It's been confirmed that Splatfest will make a return. Will make a return. In these events, you pick a team based on oh. the announced theme, then settle the outcome via battle. And this time around, there will be three teams to choose from. Splatfests consist of two halves. In the first half, teams will compete in 4v4 turf war battles. The second half... Second. is a tricolor turf war. Tricolor turf war? It's a special mode where, whoa, three teams fight at the same time. That's, that's new. All players on the team currently in first place will start in the center of the stage. Two players each from the second and third place teams will attack the first place team from opposite ends of the stage. Can the leading team defend themselves? Or will the other two teams exact revenge and force them out? Use the Ultra Signal to control the battle and contribute to the Splatfest while working alongside the members of Deep Cut. Okay, we're going to close out this presentation with an announcement from Deep Cut. Take it away! Splatfest, I love Splatfest. I think it's some sort of event. <laughs> Splatfest is probably better than Splatfest. Mm, maybe. Thank you. 
catch you later. Okay. All right, all right. That's all we have to share today. Or not. <laughs> and or now, not. announcing the Splatoon 3 Enter the Splatlands Invitational 2022 Tournament. 